Yeah, boys, you know what I'm saying? Let's get straight to it. <laughs> I'm doing this crazy play right now. I know the Lakers, they lost to the um, to the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers today. It was a pretty okay game, but I think they're going to take down the Jazz tomorrow morning, tomorrow night, not morning, tomorrow night. 10, 15 p.m. I think they take down the Jazz. Because I just think the Jazz, they they are playing tonight. They playing the Clippers. And I um, I think they will lose to the Clippers tonight. But the Jazz are good. And the Lakers are trash. So this one right here, this might mess up the whole parlay, nigga. Shoot. I'm still taking the Lakers. I feel like the Lakers going to step up tomorrow and go crazy. The Cleveland Cavaliers. I think they will beat the Clippers because they're a way better team than the Clippers. And the Clippers are coming off a back-to-back. I don't think they're going to play Paul George, but I think he might play. You know, got to play the devil's advocate. I think he's going to play, but I don't think he's going to play great if he played good tonight. Orlando Magic, they come off a loss against the um, Sacramento Kings. I really think the Magic is going to beat the crap out of them because the Houston's are coming to the um, to Orlando to play. And um, Houston Rockets, they, they have some injured players and some questionable players. Jalen Green, that's their main player. And I don't know about Michael Porter Jr. He's good, but I think Jalen Green is better right now. And he's the, he's the main star of the team. But I don't think... They can beat the Magic because the Ben Benchello Ben Kello dude is on fuego right now. New Orleans Pelicans, I just picked them because of the ads, because of the ad. Uh, minus two thirty five, and I think the Pacers were like in the hundred plus. So the Pacers are good. They won't. They're gonna play hard, but I believe Pelicans can take them down. It's not. It's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be like a, like a big fight, but I believe they can take him down the Bucks. This game is gonna be great, but I still think the Bucks is coming out on top. They wanna be ten and zero. Giannis. They rest Giannis yesterday, so he's gonna play today. Miami Heat. I really think they beat the Portland Trailblazers. I don't know the status of um, Damian Lillard, but I don't think he's playing. So. Most likely, the Heat will step up. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Heat will step up and, you know, get the job done. The odds is great. Boston, I think they're going to they're gonna beat um, Grizzlies because they, they didn't come off of back-to-back. The Grizzlies are coming off of back-to-back. And I believe this, the, the players, you know, they're going to be a little bit tired, even though they over there in Grizzlies. And the Knicks, excuse me again, I'm just yelling. Um, the Knicks, I think they will lose to the um to the Timberwolves. I just think the Timberwolves is better right now. So Dallas Mavericks, I think the Dallas Mavericks will beat the Nets. I don't think the Nets have enough to stop the Mavericks because last game I watched them, they were up for real, but. It's just that there's something about Luca when he plays Kevin Durant, when he plays like the great players, he always have like his best game, dropping at least 30, 40 plus points. You know what I'm saying? 10, 10 rebound, eight assists. So I'm hoping for one of those games, or he might drop 35 because you know Luca average like 30 points per game. I believe. The Dallas Mavericks will beat the Brooklyn Nets. They're going to stop their two-game winning streak. And the Golden State Warriors, they've been on a five-game winning streak. So that's my team, of course. I believe they will take care of the Sacramento Kings because they coming back to the Bay. They're coming home. So, like Clay Thompson, like Clay Thompson not Clay Thompson, <laughs> I believe they will win that game. The Denver Nuggets, I just picked, picked the Denver Nuggets to win based on the ads. Don't get me wrong. Based on the ad, don't get me wrong. The the San Antonio Spurs, they got something cooking down there. They they good, 
So the Utah Jazz, the last time they played them last year, I know it's a different team. They had scored like, I think, 121 to 115 points. Um, the Clippers survived. You know, they won that game when Mitchell played for them, played for the um, Clippers. No, not the Clippers. I mean the Utah Jazz. So I think the score to go over the ads is pretty good. So I believe it's if each teams can score at least at least um one score one fifteen. Both teams score one fifteen, I think they still go over. But anyways, that's my parlay, man. I got the other parlays right here. And I have this big one right here. So if Tennessee better take care of business, win by I don't know, seventeen plus points. But anyways, man, I'm done with the other with the other apps. See, I only have price picks over here. Nothing else. Yep, nothing else. I'm done with these apps, bro. Cause I can't, I cannot be, I cannot keep on losing money like that. But anyways, man, I'm done recording. Here we go.